Hello friends, welcome to our channel. Today we will discuss about how to become a registered pharmacist in Australia. Considering the trend, people are migrating to Australia because USA as well as Canada are over flooded with so many pharmacy students. Apart from this, Australian pharmacist registration process is very smooth. Half of the process you can complete in your home country and it is also cost effective. This video will explain in detail about what are the steps, procedure, time frame, charges, document requirement to get registered in Australia as a registered pharmacist. There are mainly four steps in order to get registered in Australia as a pharmacist. Step number one, skill assessment test. Step number two, English proficiency test. Step number three, internship. Step number four, competency exam. I will be di discussing in detail each steps about document requirement, time frame, fee structure and how many attempts you can get in each steps. Now step number one and step number two. Step number one is skill assessment test. Step number two is English proficiency test. This two step you can take in your home country. Now let me be precisely tell that this video is only for those who have completed their pharmacy degree apart from Australia, New Zealand, United States of America, UK and Canada. Ireland is also considered as they can directly apply for the competency exam. So if you are not from this country then only this video will be helpful. So if you have completed your pharmacy from any of the country which I listed you can directly go for the competency exam. You can skip step number one, step number two. You can directly register, get your internship done and go for competency exam. Now for those who have completed their pharmacy apart from these countries, they have to go from step number one to step number four. First of all, the requirement, educational requirement in order to go through this process. Now Australia says four year pharmacy curriculum is sufficient in order to eligible for this exam. So any international graduate who have completed their pharmacy degree which is of four year duration they are eligible for the Australian uh, they are eligible to register as an Australian pharmacist and they can go for this step number one to step number four and if you successfully complete these four steps you will be a registered pharmacist in Australia. Now first of all document requirement so you have to complete your degree in your home country. After completing your degree you have to mandatorily register to your state council or provincial council to get license in your home country to practice as a pharmacist. So this is two mandatory requirement. Get your degree, register your degree to the respective province or state council and then you can go for the skill assessment test that is step number one. So first of all you have to go to the website pharmacycouncil.org.au when you go to this website you can have a small questionnaire where you can fill this questionnaire based on from where you have completed your pharmacy whether you have registered license to practice as a pharmacist in your home country and then they will show you the step by step process. After filling this detail you have to register yourself and you have to get your login credential. Once you get your login credential the unique number will be generated and along with that unique number you have to send your passport, birth certificate, educational credentials like transcript and all certified degree certificates along with license to practice as a pharmacy pharmacist in your home country to the Australian Council of Pharmacy. Here Australian Pharmacy Council will check your documents, validate your degree, analyze the curriculum as well as duration of your pharmacy and give you a certificate which approves that your education is valid and you can go for further qualifying examination. Now talking about qualifying examination it is known as CAPS Knowledge Assessment of Pharmaceutical Science. So once you do this 
after only you will be able to register for the caps to get your educational credential evaluated it will charge 810 australian dollar after completing this step you can register for knowledge assessment of pharmaceutical science exam which will cost you somewhere around 2200 australian dollar this exam is divided into two papers which will be conducted on the same day caps exam is a basic qualifying exam which will analyze your four year b farm knowledge whether you have acquired sufficient knowledge or not it is not registered registering exam it is just a qualifying exam and this exam is waived for those who have completed their pharmacy in australia new zealand uk canada usa or ireland only those student who have completed their pharmacy apart from this country they have to appear for the caps caps exam is a multiple choice question based exam and each paper contains 100 marks you will get 2 hours for each paper 60 minute break in between two paper and then the second paper will start which also have 2 hours time duration ultimately this exam will be conducted over a period of 5 to 6 hours now the very good aspect of this exam is this exam you can take from your home country so say for example you are from india you can take this exam to the authorized center which is located in new delhi noida chandigarh bangalore pune mumbai ludhiana this are the certified centers from where you can go for the caps examination once you register and appear for the caps examination which is conducted generally in july in month of july and november twice yearly after uh, appearing for this exam you have to wait for the examination notification the qualifying marks is 50% so if you secure 50% in paper 1 and 50% in paper 2 you will be considered as qualified in caps examination after qualifying in order to get the skill assessment certificate it will again charge 300 australian dollar so this is how skill assessment test procedure will be done now let's say for example there are certain clause in order to help the candidate in some kind kind of emergencies for example you have registered for caps examination and due to any reason you will not be able to sit for the examination in that duration if it is in the registration period you can reschedule your exam and you can attempt in the next session second if you qualify in paper 1 and disqualify in paper 2 then you only have to appear for paper 2 within 2 years you have to clear paper 2 if you fail to do so in 2 years then you have to freshly register and again qualify paper 1 as well as paper 2 the syllabus of this caps examination will be given in the description box so you can check what are the syllabus and what are the weightage of those syllabus now let's say for example you want to cancel this caps examination there is also a refund policy they charge you some uh, amount and they will give back the refund amount to you so this is how you can appear for the caps examination once the caps examination is qualified you will get skill assessment certificate now comes the step number 2 step number 2 is english proficiency test to justify that you can write listen speak and read in english because you are migrating to the english speaking country english qualifying test is mandatory to qualify for this english proficiency test you can take any of the test from ilts pte toefl internet based exam in order to qualify in ilts you required overall seven band along with seven band in each module no less than seven band in each module will work if even though you get overall seven bands so it is a mandatory requirement likewise mandatory requirement for all the english proficiency test examination i will be providing you in the description box you can check what will be the minimum qualifying criteria in order to pass this english proficiency test 
after completion of english proficiency test now you can go to the apra website australian healthcare practitioner regulation agency this website will allow you to register as a provisional licensure procedure here once you apply they and they, they will check all the docu documents starting from the skill assessment to the english proficiency test they will give you a certificate for provisional licensure and using this provisional license you can practice so you can do internship in the australia so at this step all the process is done in your home country now in order to go for the internship you require provisional license after getting provisional license from the apra you can apply for the visa to australian home affairs now how the visa process works in this case is either state can nominate you or you can find from the job portal to the community pharmacy or hospital pharmacy wherever the vacancy is listed so once you have provisional license you are eligible to apply for the state nomination and you are also also eligible for the apply for any uh, job vacancies to any employer if they, your profile is suitable and if they find you suitable candidate for the position state can nominate you or employer can sponsor you in both the case you will get valid visa and you can travel to the australia and you can complete your internship now this internship is supervised internship and a mandatory requirement to get the final license once you get state nomination you can directly eligible for the permanent residence but if you get the sponsorship from the employer you have to go for the permanent residency process separately but in both the case you will get valid visa which is work visa and you can travel to australia and you can complete the further process now let's say for example you got the visa you reach to the australia and now in australia this internship is paid internship on an average per hour 30 australian dollars they will pay you in order to complete this you know if you complete this internship at the respective places now after this internship mandatory hours is somewhere around 1500 somewhere around 1600 so if you complete 1600 hours then only you will be eligible for the final licensing procedure now before you complete 100% internship hour there is a clause after completing 75% of the internship hours you can registered for the competency exam so during your 25% of the completion of internship you will get your educational as well as document assessment as well as in internship assessment done and directly after completion of internship you can go for the competency exam now this competency exam is divided into two parts if you complete your supervised internship you submit your assignments and if they satisfy they will allow you to sit for the competency exam which will be divided into two parts part number 1 is intern written exam which is conducted by australian pharmacy council and part number 2 is intern oral exam which is conducted by apra in the written exam there will be certain questions related to what you have learned from internship and what you have learned from your basic qualification uh, degree in oral examination it is like a viva where there will be certain questions related to how to utilize medications so once you clear the intern written exam as well as intern oral exam you are eligible to register for the final licensing procedure once the final licensing procedure is done you will be given a license to work as a pharmacist in australia in all seven provinces of the australia this license is valid and you can work as a registered australian pharmacist apart from that the salary structure is very good on an average 60 dollar per hour you will get to work as a australian registered pharmacist and the job uh, location would be any hospital pharmacy or a community pharmacy in both the setup you are eligible to work considering the shortage of pharmacist in australia it is a very good chance 
to go and get registered in Australia and make your career in Australia. So, I hope I have clearly explained the procedure from step 1 to step 4 to get registered in Australia along with the documentary requirement. Now, in order to pass all this examination, you can refer any book which is suggested by the pharmacy curriculum of your respective nation. Since pharmacy curriculum throughout the world is contain some basic information, it will help you to qualify for the examination. You do not require separate understanding or knowledge in order to clear this examination. I hope this video will help you and guide you to complete the process and I wish you all the best to get registered as a pharmacist in Australia. Thank you so much.